into also to ensure that we have more grassroots talent, the ministry is expediting the construction of 30 sports academies across the country. Um, we, ha we had advertised some sports academies uh, a few weeks ago, but we sat down again to relook at the designs together with the, uh, our schools, school of TVET, and we have come up with prototypes, uh, designs, that now will be standardized and we will have at least a sports academy in the next three to four years, we will have a sports academy in every constituency, meaning we will have 290 sports academies across the country. And we will have reasonable pitch, good football pitch that can also be modified for rugby. We will have a running track. We will have also a hall there with some few offices, and that facility will be maintained to make sure that we can grow talent across the country. No part of Kenya will be left. No part of Kenya. We want, in the next few years, we'll be seeing also talented players from Mandera, from Wajia, from Tana River, from Lamu, that are going to join you to become part and parcel of the talent. No Kenyan community and no part of this country should be left out. There is no place that we cannot get talent that can play football across the country. Again, that is our focus. You will be seeing in the new prototype in the next few days, seven days to ten days, us going back to the market to advertise and get these uh, uh, contractors to go on site. And we are going to put the best supervision to make sure that we have the best sports academies across the country. I know many of you have been complaining about why our national team has been unable to play at home. We found a dilapidated sports infrastructure and there was a requirement from CAF that we must sort out the Nyayo Stadium and Kasarani Stadium and the progress is good. So far, as we said, we are ready and prepared to host the Chan in February. As you know, in Kasarani, we are doing major, major facelifting of the, of the stadium, the offices, the training uh, pitches, the main pitch in Kasarani itself, uh, we are planting new, new grass. I have seen the debate ar around the weekend uh, from experts um, uh, who may not have had uh, access to what we are doing, speaking about, you know, we are, the, the pitch is not in good condition and so forth. That's not a true position. As a country, we went a great length to invite experts from uh, uh, CAF from the Confederation of African Football and they came here and have given us a fantastic report of how we should improve the playing pitch both in Nyayo Stadium and in Kasarani and those the recommendations they gave are fantastic some will be incorporated after the churn some are being incorporated now between now and December to make us ready for the uh, churn in February. And after churn in February, we will do even a major uh, uh, first uh, lift of Nyayo. Nyayo, for example, we have agreed to continue with the grass that is there just to improve it for purpose of churn because of the timelines. And then after the February, we can do away with the Kikuyu grass and plant another type of grass. So we are on course and we want to appreciate CAF for giving us very good technical support and giving us a very robust report, including which equipment we should buy to make sure that our pitches are good. In the end, this preparation of Africa Cup of Nations will have made us uh, have very good football infrastructure. The Talanda Stadium uh, in, in Gong Road, Nyayo Stadium, uh, Kasarani Stadium and other pitches across the country are going to be made to uh, required standards. I want to promise the country that also we are working to provide a, at least good football stadia in the region, in the various parts of the country. Uh, we're finishing Bugungu Stadium. We should be able to uh, finish the stadium in Bungoma. We need to make sure that we maintain the one in Kisumu, Homa Bay. We will make sure that we finish the one in Eldred. We have done something in Kirikiti. We want to make sure that we hand over soon. We are doing all the others, the, the stadium that is in Kinoru. And we, we just finished the Kuala the other day. We are helping them to complete the uh, planting of the grass. And we want to put stadia across the region. We want to have a stadium in northeastern part of the country, a coastal part of the country that has been left for a long time. And we will make sure that across the country, our players have an opportunity to play.